Okay, so example 22. Okay, so firstly, we have to find the divergence of the vector field F. And then after that, we will get a scalar function. Then after that, we have to multiply by the, the scalar function here. Okay, so now we solve for the divergent F, which means that we have the uh, Fx plus Fy plus Fz. Okay, so Fx, um, this one, component X, F1. Okay, F1, uh, sorry, so F1 X, I mean, um, so in the correct way, so this is supposed to be, F1 X, F2 Y, F3, Z, which means that uh, this one is F1, F2, F3, okay? So the first one, you have to differentiate this with respect to x so not x so meaning these are all constant so we get 0 and the second one you have to differentiate with respect to y so plus um, negative x square and the third one we differentiate this with respect to z so we have plus um, 2x Z, which will give you 2xz minus x squared. Okay, so now um, the result then should be multiplied by the function phi. So 2xz minus x squared and multiplied by the function of 2x squared. 2x squared uh, yz cube. So when you expand that to 2, you will get 4. x become x3. y is y and z4. Okay. So differentiate this. With respect to x0, differentiate this with respect to y minus x squared. And differentiate this with respect to z we have to x z and then multiply by the 2x square y z cube so um, so 2 to 4 x cube y z 4 minus 2x uh, 4 y z y z4 minus 2x4 y z4 okay so that is the first question and then second one divergent of g and then that called scalar will be multiplied by the vector field f okay firstly we solve for the the, break, uh, the divergent then this will give you g1 x plus g2 x plus g3 x okay or if you don't want to put the uh, bracket it's also possible So then, you have to differentiate your g with respect to s. So you will get 2x plus g2 with respect to y. So you have z. And g3 with respect to z and it is 0. 
Okay, so 2x plus z. And after that, multiply by, so now, the divergent of the vector, the vector g, you have, then multiply by the vector function f. So, you have 2x plus z, then multiply by the vector of f. So, 2yz, 2yz minus x squared y and z squared. So, you will get, so the first multiplied by the, this component. So, you have 2x plus z multiplied by 2yz and then 2x plus, plus z multiplied by minus x squared okay. and then 2x plus z multiplied by xz squared so you have to expand so the first term it will give you 4xyz plus 2yz squared. And the second component will give you minus 2x cubed y minus z y x squared. Okay, and the third one will give you 2x square z square plus z cube x. 2x square z square x z cube. Okay. Okay, the third one. We have the curve of f. We give you a new vector and that vector then multiplied by the scalar function. So firstly, we want to solve for the curve. So I, G, K, I. Del, del, X. Del, del, Y. Del, del, Z. Del, del, X. Okay, F. 2Y, Z. 2Y, Z. Minus x squared y at z squared. 2yz. Okay, so now we obtain the vector. So, g cross k we give you i. Okay, so, del del y of at z squared. So, don't know y means these are all constants. So, 0. Minus del del z of this one also 0. And now we go to the g component. So k cross i. Del del z of 2yz. Uh, so we have 2y. Minus del del x of xz squared. And you have z squared. And then we want to get the component k. i, I, I cross g. So, del del x of minus x squared y. So, you have negative 2xy. Negative 2xy minus. So, differentiate this respect to y minus. Then, that will give you 2z. So, that is your vector. Okay, which means that this one, you will get 0. And then you have to multiply this vector with the phi that you have. Okay. Okay. So next we have to multiply the um, vector that we obtain by the um, function of phi. So then you will get 0, then 2y minus z square multiplied 
2x square y z cube minus 2 x y minus 2 z and then 2x square y z cube so 0 then we need to expand 2x square 2x square uh, uh, should be 4 right 4 4 <coughs> okay so that is the answer <clears throat> so if i done something correctly so please just please let me know okay um okay so these are just a few examples some example uh about the multiple operation so now we look at example 23 <clears throat> okay so gradient dive okay so the f given okay for a f is x squared y y z q minus z x q so gradient gradient The gradient dive okay I just put, I put the, the grad dive F so the gradient of divergent divergent we have this So, this is not part of the, the special key. So, meaning that you have to compute manually. So, for this one, we have to uh, solve for the division first. So, in this case, you have F1 X plus F2 y plus f3 z <clears throat> so f1 you have x squared y differentiate respect to x so you have 2xy um this one did not give you a vector so you have 2xy 2xy plus and differentiate this respect to y so you have z cube and the third one differentiate respect to z you have negative x cube <clears throat> okay and after that using that result we have to get the the gradient so now let's say okay so here the gradient of the scalar function that we obtain <clears throat> so remember last time if we are given the um the scalar function g so now to get to get um scalar function g so g is the function of in terms of x y <clears throat> and also z it can be z as well just an example so if you want to get the gradient of the scalar field and this will give you a vector which means that the component is the f you have to differentiate with respect to x the, then the same f you have to differentiate with respect to y and this sorry 
Okay, for for now, I'm, I just want to explaining uh, the gradient for for you have, have forgotten. So if we're given the scalar function, uh, whether uh, let's say now we are talking about the uh, a three variable function where there is uh, x component, y component, and z component. So we got three variable here. So the divergent, sorry, the gradient of this scalar function will give you a vector function, right? But what is the component of that? Of, of this one um, <clears throat> so meaning that using the scalar function you have to differentiate with respect to x and for y component you differentiate with respect to y and for z component you have to differentiate with respect to z using the similar f so in this case your your function g is this one so meaning that you have to differentiate this with respect to x that will give you the uh, Component of x. So, differentiate all this. Okay, all this with respect to x. So, we have 2y. 2y minus 3 x squared. <clears throat> For y component, you have to differentiate this, all of this, all of the term here with respect to y. So, you will get 2x. That's it, right? x. And then, the third, the z component, you have to differentiate this with respect to z. So you have 3z squared. <coughs> so that is your answer. The answer is a factor. So that is for question A. Okay, so now the question B. What we have here, you are given a scalar function is in terms of x, y, z. Where the function is x, y, z minus 2y squared z plus x squared z squared. So the question is determine. So you have to determine divergent, dive grade. Okay, what is the formula? Divergent. So, grab dot of the gradient f. Okay, if we check the special case, so it looks like we can apply, um, you can see that the dive of the gradient f, right? Okay, so then meaning that we know that you should have, you, you can use this, um, result or if you are forgotten then you can just compute manually first you just find out the gradient f and you got we will get a vector and after that you find the the divergent just a, like a normal way but if you remember about this special uh, result where this one is actually you have the f x x plus f y y plus f z z okay so then you can directly get the value, which means that, um, so from here, you can have fx, where fx is yz, plus 2xz square, and fxx will give you 2z square, okay, and then to get, <coughs> Mm. Okay, uh, Fy. So we differentiate the F here with respect to Y. So you have XZ and then minus 4YZ minus 4YZ. And that's it. So then f y y. So you will get minus four z. Okay, and also you can get f z. F z. Differentiate f respect to z. So x y minus two y square plus two x squared 
to x square z. Okay. And f z z will give you 2 x square. So when we put the result here, so we have this, uh, we have this, and we have this, and then we can substitute the value. So 2 z square minus 4 z plus 2 x square. Okay, since they ask you to find that, to find the dive grade F at the specific point, then you have to substitute the value of x2, y4, and z equal to 1. So, then at the point given, you have 2, uh, 1, minus 4, 1, plus 2, and your x is, and you will get, 2 minus 4 plus 8. So, um, you will get 6. Okay? So, that is the answer. This one. <coughs> okay, so that is the question B. So, next we move to the question C. So the question C is about um, okay, you are given a vector field x square y z x y z square and y square z. You don't mean the curl curl, okay curl curl f the point given is at 2 1 1 okay so then what we have to do is the curl of the curl of f okay so meaning that for this you have to solve for this one first okay so you have to find the first curl. So the first curl is you have this. So I G K I. So I del del X del del Y del del Z del del X. So the component of F is X square Y Z x, y, z square, y square, z, and then x square, y, z. So now, we want to find the component x, so you have to cross the g and the k. g and k. So, Differentiate y squared z respect to y. So this will give you 2yz. 2yz minus uh, 2xyz. Okay. Differentiate respect to y. So 2yz minus 2xyz. Okay. Now for the g component. So, differentiate this with respect to z, we give you x squared y minus is it x squared y and this one, uh, no x, so this constant, the answer is 0. Okay, so that is for y component. And we go to the uh, K component, so I cross G. So this will give you Y, Z, Y, Z square. Because you have to differentiate this with respect to Y. Minus, uh, differentiate this with respect to, sorry. Okay, this one you have to differentiate with respect to 
x so you have y z square minus you have to differentiate this with respect to y so z x square z x square and that is the the, the first answer <coughs> Next, we have to, you will get, from here you get, you already get the a new vector. So now you have to find the curl of this new vector. Okay, so let's say I give a name for this new vector, which is vector h. I just give random name. So now we have to find the curl of the vector h. So if you done incorrectly here, so meaning that the following answer will be also incorrect. Okay, so have to you have to be careful. Okay, so now we want to get um, the second curl. So now for x component, so j cross k. So differentiate this with respect to y. So you have z, z square minus, you have to differentiate this with respect to z. No, z means this one is 0. And then the second component, k cross i. So, differentiate this with respect to z. So, you have 2y minus uh, 2xy. And then, minus. And differentiate this with respect to x. So, this one 0. And minus of negative. So, positive um, 2z. 2x. Okay. And then, i cross g. So, differentiate this with respect to x. So, 2xy minus differentiate this with respect to y. So, 2z minus um, 2xz. Okay. So, your simplified form, you will get... 2y minus 2xy plus 2xz and then 2xy minus 2z plus 2xz. Okay, and you have to find uh, the value. Find the, find the curl of the curl f at 2, 1, 1. So, at 2, 1, 1, so at the point given, so the answer is of the F is 1, 2, 1, minus 2, 2, 1, plus 2, 2, 1. Okay, so when you evaluate, then you will get a constant vector 1 to 6. Right.